Hello subscribers, today is May the 16th, 2021 and this is part 2 of the video entitled Dead Deadly Wound That Healed. I apologize for the abrupt ending of, uh, pa of uh, the previous video of part 1 of Deadly Wound That Healed. Um, it was simply a matter that the battery decided to, to die at that very moment. So here we have another cover from a previous edition of Newsweek magazine and he is um, he is depicted here, Obama that is, is depicted here and he is written, it's written here that he is the god of all things. So the people or you know the elites, the elites regard him as the their god of all things do you understand a little g god but the elites look upon him in that manner that's why it's written it's written in the center page on the front cover of the magazine that is written in a prominent manner and that cannot be ignored they are looking upon him as their savior their evil savior that is and he's also depicted here as that uh, goddess of destruction um, if I'm not mistaken her name is Shiva and uh, her statue is to be found outside the building of C capital C capital E capital R capital N and without further ado let us go to the Bible and we start with Revelation chapter 13 we go to verses 4 to 9 and verse 4 reads and they worshipped the dragon who gave power unto the beast and they worshipped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the word if any man have an ear let him hear so in verse 4 it says they worshipped the dragon who are they you know who they are. They are those who have taken the mark of the beast. And they worshipped the dragon. And who is the dragon? You also know that. The dragon is Satan, which gave power unto the beast. So Satan gave power to the beast. And we know that the beast is the Antichrist. And they worshipped the beast. So they, those who took the mark of the beast, okay, these guinea pigs who have taken... Uh, who believed the lies of their uh, local governments who are taking orders from the New World Order. Uh, those, them, they have worshipped the beast and the beast is now indwelt by Satan. Saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And that is boasting. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And we know that Obama has in the past spoken of great things and lots of blasphemies. We noticed how flies loved to settle on his face. And power was given unto him to continue, to continue, to continue. Why am I repeating this word? Because it's not to start, to commence. No, to continue. So this guy here he is continuing something which he already had started is that clear and who 
started, who had been in term, had two previous terms before, Obama. Then he stopped, he stopped for a short space. And then he came to continue 40 and two months. And you know that 40 and two months are three and a half years. You also know that a presidential term is four years. So who is filling in for him right now in the first six months since January 2021? Well, we know that there is Biden right now at the moment. Is it possible that Biden is keeping the seat at the Oval Office warm for the beast to continue 40 and two months? And we know that three and a half years plus six months equals four years. A, a US presidential term. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. So, being indwelt by Satan, he continues now to blaspheme even more than before. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. And the saints um, are those who oppose the Antichrist and his mandates. They are those who will not take the mark of the beast. We know that under the Obama administration, 30,000 guillotines were purchased. And we also know that another 15,000 guillotines were purchased under the Trump administration. So that makes it a total of 45,000 guillotines. And we also know that there are FEMA camps. They are empty, but they are fully operational and they are staffed. And they are all placed in strategic locations and they are all serviced by railways. So imagine trains filled with people, the saints who are opposing, who will not take the mark of the beast. Trains filled with the saints, with these people taken to the FEMA camps to be slaughtered with those guillotines so those guillotines will soon be taken out from their warehouses and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them that is when the beheadings will begin the beheadings of the saints and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and we know that um, he will be the one world ruler. We know that the United Nations, there are 10 regions in the United Nations, and they will hand their power to the beast, to the Antichrist. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, of course, those who um, have taken the mark of the beast. They were not written in the book of life of the Lamb. And we pray that our family, our families have an ear and that they may hear. Now, we're going to Revelation 17 because we have further information about this beast system. And uh, and about the seven kings. Let's read the verses first, and then we will discuss them. In verse 10 we read, And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eightieth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, one hive mind, may I add, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. They are called, they are the elect, which are mentioned. The elect are mentioned in Matthew 
chapter 24, whereby Jesus says that unless, unless those days are shortened, no flesh should survive, but for the elect's sake, those days are shortened. And Satan knows that those days are going to be shortened, which is why Satan is operating at warp speed. He wants to get everybody to participate in this global experiment, literally at warp speed. Now it says here in verse 10 that there are seven kings. Five are fallen. Who are these five fallen kings? It's very possibly, it's very possible that these five fallen kings are Reagan, Ronald Reagan, then there's Jimmy Carter, who followed him, then Bush Sr. Following Bush Sr., there was Bill Clinton. Then he was succeeded by Bush Jr. Now, and then it says, and one is, and the other is not yet come. That is the sixth king. That would be Obama. And Obama fulfilled two terms, eight years. And when he commit, he must continue a short space. That is referring to the seventh king, Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump only completed one term four years that's why it says here he must continue a short space because he only did one term not two and the beast that was and is not even he is the 80th and is of the seven and go it into perdition so the king that f that succeeds the king that succeeds trump is is the 80th because we said that Donald Trump is the seventh. So the king that succeeds Donald Trump is the 80th. But he is, as you will readily recognize, he is, he is of the seven. And we know that he is the son of perdition, this 80th king. That is one of the seven. And he will go into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sowest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Do you know that those ten horns are the ten regions of the United Nations? The United Nations divided the planet into ten regions. And each region is controlled by a leader and here, the Bible is referring to those leaders as kings. So, therefore, the ten kings of the ten regions of the United Nations, which have received no kingdom as yet, and we know as yet there is no kingdom, but it will become apparent when the Antichrist comes to full power, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. They shall look upon him as their leader. They have one mind, it's a hive mind, and they shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Your local government is already giving its power and strength unto the beast system. They've already sold you out. They've already pledged allegiance to the beast system and the beast that shall be shortly unveiled. These shall make war with the lamp and the lamp shall overcome them. And we know that. That's going to be the battle of Armageddon. For they are foolish. They are stupid. It's unbelievable. It's inconceivable that they should even entertain in their minds that they, that they can possibly overcome the Lord Jesus Christ. No. It's foolishness. It's stupidity. And the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful they are the elect they shall follow the lord jesus christ upon his second coming as he wages war armageddon when he lands on the mount of olives as is prophesied in zechariah 14 and the land shall split westward and eastward For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, 
until the words of God shall be fulfilled. There it is. That's your government. He put it in their hearts, in your government's hearts, heart to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. They relinquished. They have relinquished their power to the Antichrist. They will no longer be autonomous. Our countries are no longer autonomies. On autonomous boundaries are being broken. They're taking orders from high up, from the new world order, from the beast system. And soon, the beast, the Antichrist, will mandate the mark of the beast. It's already being rolled out. It's offered voluntarily right now. Hasn't been mandated by your local government, by your leader. They're trying to mandate it indirectly through private corporations, but it hasn't been mandated yet from the higher echelons. And one final word. Barack Obama is the author of some books, and one of them is Dreams from My Father. One wonders whether he is discussing his physical father or whether he is discussing his father, Satan. Time will tell. We are in the end of the end of days. This video is intended to get you to get you and your house in order. I am not a prophetess, I'm not a prophet. That is not my gifting. I have other gifts from the Holy Spirit, but prophesying is not my gift. So I do not pretend to be a prophet, but I'm just pointing out some some facts which could possibly be lining up with scripture right now. And we are at a point of convergence, of singularity, when everything is becoming obvious and so many things are happening and and scriptures are unfolding. Uh, the, prophesi the prophecies, prophecies are unfolding at an alarming rate, should I say. So if you haven't called upon the Lord Jesus Christ, we are at a very late hour. What are you waiting for? No one is promised tomorrow. And remember Romans chapter 10 verse 13, that whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God bless you all.